An image of the very early universe is preserved in the light known as the cosmic microwave background. Hieronia Paris is an astrophysicist and Hubble Fellow at the Kavli Institute for Cosmological Physics at the University of Chicago. Her studies of the light from the Big Bang, imaged by NASA's WMAP spacecraft, yield important clues to the nature of our universe. What got me interested in, in this field uh, was um, a general interest in science, which I've had uh, since I was very young. Uh, and basically, I was very curious. I would always ask the, the why and how questions, you know, why those things work and how things are the way they are. Um, and so when I went to school and I started learning about math and physics, um, I found that there were rigorous quantitative ways in which you can answer those questions in, instead of just philosophically debating about them. And this is, in fact, you know, the nature of science is that uh, you you are constantly testing your theories with data. So the main data set that I use is the cosmic microwave background. This data was really generated about 380,000 years after the beginning of time, after the Big Bang. So what you're looking at there is the very earliest light that you can see. So with this picture, we measured certain parameters about our universe much, much better than we've been able to previously, but we've not necessarily understood what the meaning of those parameters are. For example, we know that only 5% of our universe is made of atomic matter. That's all the matter that anybody can you know, has heard of or can think of right now. The rest of it um, is, uh, it seems, dark matter and dark energy. We have possibly some quite good theoretical understanding of what dark matter could be, but it's never been detected directly or in the laboratory. Um, and dark energy, pretty much all the theories are, you know, uh, we don't really understand what it is. Uh, so these are very big questions. Um, and all of cosmology and theoretical physics, uh, uh, all those people are interested in trying to find answers that not only in increase our ability to measure characteristics of the universe better and better, but to understand what those things mean. So having the WMAP data has been great because it's helped us to pin down very precisely certain characteristics of the universe, uh, like what it's made of, uh, what in what proportions do the constituents of the universe exist, like how much atomic matter versus dark matter or dark energy is there, uh, what is the age of the universe, that number has been pinned down very precisely. Uh, but uh, also, it's thrown up a lot of new questions like uh, what is dark energy, what is dark matter. There are these very big questions about the origin, the existence of the universe in the first place, how is it evolving, what's going to happen to it in the future. And these are questions that mankind has been asking since the dawn of time. And we live in this very fortunate era in which we can actually observe the dawn of time and try to answer those questions quantitatively.